Hi, I'm the Moorlander and this is Moorlander EDC out in the absolute glorious, although there's a lot of midges today, uh, out in the glorious woods. Uh, I came out yesterday actually, do you know what? So I came out yesterday to do this filming but it started raining so all I ended up doing was the b-roll for it so you might find that there's a change of clothing. It's raining a little bit today and there's quite a few midges but other than that you know it's okay. Um, I also found this epic tree. I'll show you this in a minute because that's a very cool tree as far as trees go. But what we are here today to look at is almost a kind of a part two. So three, four weeks ago, about a month or so, I did my first impressions on the Victus Perimeter 25. This is a backpack that was sent to me, I suppose at this point, Full disclosure, this was sent to me by Tack Tree uh, here in the UK. I'll leave some links in the description below. Uh, they asked if they could sponsor a video, and of course I said yes, I'd love to. Uh, I'd seen bits about Victus, but only from looking on Tack Tree's website had I had I seen them. Um, and they said, do you know what, would you like to try one of their bags? And you know, I, I, yeah, I, I said, yeah, I'll, you know, I'll definitely jump at the chance to, to have a look at them. Um, although this is sponsored, you know, they, were, they sent this to me free of charge. Uh, I've talked to them about it and it, it, if, if I hate this bag, I'm more than, they, you know, they're more than happy for me to say that. Um, spoiler, I think it's a great bag, it really is. Um, so what we'll do is we'll have a look at this a little bit more now and more thoughts of having tested this now for the last, uh, the last month or so. The original video was a first impressions and I, I, I probably went in quite a bit of a deep dive on that video. Um, whereas this, having now tested it, there's bits of the bag that I think are very, very, very well engineered. Having used it through walking, through the daily commute, I even took it onto the field and did some airsoft with it just to see how it kind of fared whilst throwing myself around. Um, so what I'll do is while we turn the camera around now if you like this video at any point please feel free to hit the like button that would be awesome uh, if you're new or even return to the channel if you'd like to subscribe that'd be great but in the meantime while I'm doing that I've got, I've got to show you this tree this tree is absolutely amazing um, yeah let's look at the tree I'm going to try and do this with the camera still in here so just to start off with, I mean you can see there's the tree the tree goes up there's a big long branch that comes out round here and, and up. There's another branch though that goes in, into the ground, out again. This is still the same tree and it goes round, which is pretty cool. But then you've also got this branch here. So if you watch this branch, it comes down into the ground, out of the ground again, back up and you know, it, it triples in width and then comes up again pretty much into a brand new tree which somebody's made a really cool little woodcraft shelter underneath I mean that's amazing that's that's very 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 cool I mean as far as I'm concerned that's a pretty rad tree so I thought we might as well do the rest in honor of mother nature we'll do the rest of this content in front of one of her creations and I'm definitely 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 coming back here again in the future so you'll probably see a lot more of this um, now let's get into the pack itself so there's a lot of midges around today there's gonna be a lot of face touching awkward face touching the best anyway uh, so this is the perimeter 25 from Victus or Victos as they probably say in America um, the 25 comes from its capacity. This is a 25 litre pack, which fits kind of in where you see those sort of military grade specs and as far as what you need for a 24 hour operation or a 72 and, and, and so on or 48. Uh, they usually tend to be around that 24 litres. This is 25, uh, so you get an extra little bit in there. As far as the size is concerned, it measures 18 inches by 12 inches by uh, 8 inches deep. So footprint wise, when you've got this on your back, it's actually got quite a small footprint. Um, but mainly because of the volume that it comes out further, um, it, 
it just fits really nice on your back. As I mentioned before, I've used this for some airsoft. Um, I've had it on over a chest rig. It fits perfectly in the backs. It, you know, it doesn't feel as though it's impeding any of the straps on there. Um, and when it comes over the shoulders, it's certainly not impeding anything uh, as far as mobility or even being able to adjust those straps if you need to. There's some extra bits of information around about the construction of this. So this, there are three versions as far as three different colours are concerned. There are two multicam versions. There is the uh, multicam and there is black, the multicam black. Um, they run in at 500D, um, whatever that nylon is. Or if you go for a black version, there is a black version of this which then bumps that up to 1000D and that's made from the Cobra nylon. Um, Everything on this, and I mean everything, is mil spec. There is, there, there's even to the point that some of these bits, which which we'll have a look at, are, are, are almost e e e even over engineered. But can anything really be over engineered when it comes to military style backpacks, which the EDC community love? Now, as we usually do, we'll go around the bag, then we'll have a look on the inside. Now. First thing that you'll hopefully notice on the front is you have some laser cut molly. Um, there's definitely been a trend to switch from that traditional PALS webbing to laser cut. The jury's still out on whether I prefer it, but I think when it comes to aesthetics, it definitely gives it a more cleaner aesthetic. Um, if you wanted to take this into the office, um, it definitely doesn't look as mil spec kind of backpack as you'd get with some of the others with that old-fashioned or traditional PALS webbing um, not to mention the fact that it's in multicam but if this if it was the black version it would look less um, less military a little bit more kind of grey man um, but this goes all across the front what Victos have done for extra support and rigidity to this is added in extra stitching in between each of the the laser cut rows what this does is just make sure that if you've got something on the front here that there's less movement in there because each of the rows is stitched onto the panel behind that. Um, it adds a lot more rigidity and a lot more support um, and I suppose as well confidence in whatever's on there is not, is not going to come off. Here on the left hand side there is a small easy access panel you know, I've got a small pouch in there. Did I leave anything else in? No. But that goes all the way across here, all the way across the side as well. So I mean, so that's a good nine inches by nine inches. My span is exactly nine inches, which is pretty cool. All of the zippers you'll find on this bag are uh, YKK zippers. They are all the RC YKK zippers as well. So that there's extra there's less chance of any sort of snagging. The only snagging that I've had with this is generally because the material is so tough so when you're trying to pull things it's actually because you're trying to pull it against the material rather than if you lift it up and then pull it you you get less of an issue. Um, you'll probably find after some wear and tear that the material will just loosen up and wear in a little bit. So that's that front section. What you've also got on the side here, which I quite like, so it says Victos Black Arms Company, which I quite like that. On the front, uh, you have an ambi open um, zipper, which is very, very easy to get into. And this is hopefully where you'll see that there is the, uh, the CCW compartment or or section if I lift this up hopefully you'll be able to see on the front here so there are uh, six ports in which you can fit uh, normal uh, pistol magazines in and then behind those there are three spots that you can put either AK or, or AR-15 uh, style magazines the top bit is a full slip pass-through and again, I think this is where extra thought has been put into the way that this is designed. And that is that this second part where it, it pushes in is stitched across the back so that when it's in, it, it's, it's got a hard stop in there rather than situations where it's slipped all the way through and it, it's, it's then underneath this bit and you're having to, you know, I mean, not struggle to get it out but with the length of it it fits flush against the top when it's when it's that way up but there's plenty that you can put in there if needed 
It does come with um, this holster for the people over at YouTube. This is not a real firearm. This is a dummy. Um, please don't demonetize me. It really is just a toy uh, to, to show this off. But it, it fits in perfectly. If you choose to take this out, if you do run your own holster, then obviously you can do that. And then what you have behind it is a large Velcro panel, which is also um, looped behind so that you can affix that to that and then take it out if you need to. As far as the range bag is concerned, this is a cracking range bag because you can fit a lot, of, well, I mean, you can fit your pistol in there. If you use this for off-body CCW, you can fit it all in there as well. You've got excellent organization in the front. And plus, there is uh, an additional, <laughs> I've got it cut on the thing on the inside. There is an additional, there we go. That's what you get for stuffing it too much. There's an additional pouch behind that. So if you're wanting to carry extra ammunition, you know, you can put all of that in there. At the moment, I've just got a quick little slip pouch, something to write notes and a, and a spare knife just in case. But that runs all the way across, goes down roughly about, what's that? That's about 10 centimeters, about four inches. On the inside there as well, you've also got a small key stay. Really useful, you know, for your car keys, that sort of stuff. But, you know, if you if you do go to a, um, a range lot, there's maybe um, a locker there, then you can put your locker key in there because there is a an additional one at the top that you can put your car keys in and that sort of stuff that, that's easier to get to. Here as well, you can see I've got uh, a light in there. As far as... You know I like my stitching. If you take your time and you put your effort into the stitching, then you know that a lot of effort has been put into the design and the manufacture of the bag. All of the stitching in this is amazing. Um, the lining of this, I'm not too sure what it is, but it, I mean, it's, it's definitely a ripstop lining, which is great. The front panel is completely lined. The back panel is completely lined, all of the inside. All of the stitching has reinforced um, um, mint on there, even on the front here as well. So instead of just putting the zips on, that's got extra reinforcement as well. There's been a lot of thought put into this and it's one of the things that I'll probably touch on at the end and that is you look at the the Victos website and it says a lot about using um, US forces and retired um, forces members I've completely forgotten the word then for a second uh, and they've they've used a lot of their experience to craft this and there's been a lot of thought and a lot of understanding from experience of how this has been made and you can tell that and I've never served but I can see the way in which a lot of the stuff's been put into this that somebody who has served and has thought do you know what in the middle of whatever I need to be able to get this quickly you can see that that experience has been put into a bag like this. So then moving up so that's the front um, CCW section. Normally you'd find on a bag like this, like a 5.11 bag, generally you'd have like a, an administration panel in there. You can put some admin into there, but you could do that through a pouch instead. Um, but predominantly this front section is for CCW. Above that, under this nice rain hood, uh, you'll find that um, this front section here, um, I've, I've been out when this has rained. There's no rain hood over this, but from experience, there is DWR coating on this, so the water does repel off it, but I've found that it will slip over this zip because of the large rain hood that you've got here. But in here, there is a fleece line section, the front, the back, the top, everything, even above the zipper here, the, it's all fleece lined. There's also an extra small pocket in there, I guess maybe if you want to put your ear protection in there, or maybe you've got some nice Beats by Dre or something, you can pop them in there as well and they'll, they'll keep them nice. Um, mobile phones, um, things like um, eye protection, you can put that in there and not worry that it's going to get scratched at all. 
Moving then up to the top, there is a large hook and loop section that you can put morale patches onto if you want to. And then there is also a large grab, grab handle that you can use for being able to throw it around. Now, as far as being able to throw this round's concerned, I'm really looking forward to being able to test this while I go traveling. You've got this large grab handle at the top, but there's also an additional one here at the bottom. So getting this, your 25, 24, maybe up to 30 litre packs are really good for travelling with, mainly because they fit into that overhead luggage compartment and those regulations that you get. But when you put it in, it's trying to get it out and sod's law, you've put it in and someone else has moved it because they've got some stupid bag that they need to fit in at a certain angle. So having an additional way that you can grab that out is great or possibly how this will mainly be used if you're throwing this into a truck you can grab it from any angle and be able to grab it rather than fumbling to try and get it out of your truck if you needed to so they're really good on the side this side is completely flush there is nothing on this side <coughs> as far as the bottom is concerned there's no lashings on here if you wanted to add additional kit or a bedroll or anything like that there's no lashings although i'm sure you could probably jerry rig something that you could attach uh, to the grab handle maybe. On the right hand side hopefully you'll be able to see that there is a um, a bottle holder. I use these Sistema bottles. This is a one litre Sistema bottle. I don't know if you've come across these before. These are a company in New Zealand. They make just really nice bottles. They're not particularly expensive. The best things about these is they've got a nice large top but they use a double thread. So hopefully you saw there you know on just one one twist because it's got that double thread it means taking the tops on and off and they never leak i don't know what they do in this there's prob well there is there's a really nice rubber um washer in the top there but they they never leak and they're very good um so as i mentioned you've got your water bottle holder in the side if you want to you can zip this up it runs completely flat what i've also done with this as well is I've found that when I need to take my gloves off being able to just have something on the side that you can pack your gloves into when you need to and then zip it up and it puts them flat is really good as well again for you guys that like to take a pack to the range or have a dedicated range bag bang your gloves in the side and you know it's great um, the bit to point out which it's not a weird thing, but it's definitely a thing to point out is the fact that as far as the zip is concerned on both sides, it is asymmetrical? Asymmetrical. Yes, it is asymmetrical. So on this side, the zipper comes all the way down to the bottom uh, with a bit of reinforcing on there to make sure that it's nice and secure if you really need to pull on that. On this side, because you've got the water bottle here, it just comes down halfway. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I think some of you guys will like the fact that, you know, you, some of you like the ones that ho open halfway, some of you like a full clamshell. Um, actually, with use when commuting with this, I, do you know what? I don't have any feelings on whether it's good or bad, it just works. As long as you can get into a bag and you're not struggling to get in the bag, then I guess it doesn't really matter how it opens. But it's something to point out really for you. No, it's got to be a full clamshell. No, not interested. You're missing out on a decent bag if, if full clamshell is your issue. Anyway, so what you've got is full zip. On, oh, really sorry, a full zip on this side, and then you've got half a zip on this side. Now I'm gonna to have to do some clever, clever moving things around now, purely because the grab handle, which perfectly balances this out, the grab handle sits roughly in the middle of the bag. So when you undo it, it opens the bag towards the back and the, the weight of the bag is pretty much evenly distributed. So I'm just gonna turn the camera around now a little bit better so that we can have a look on the inside. So let's move location quickly. There was a, uh, a family that were building a tree base over there and I thought, no, it'd be rude for me to uh, to not allow them. So where were we? We were on the back panel here, weren't we? And I mentioned, you know, as far as 
the way that this is orientated, it goes on the front of the panel rather than you generally tend to find them here at the back. I think the main reason for this is for this extra pocket, so we might as well look at this first, but here you've got a very easy access pocket. If you want to put your mobile phone in there, you know, it does fit large mobile phones. And plus, as I mentioned earlier, so this is where there is an additional key keeper in there. So you can put whatever you need into that with the knowledge that you've also got an AquaGuard zipper across the back. It's right on the top of the pack, so that is where the rain is going to hit. If you want to put something that's valuable into this, then you've got that AquaGuard protection just in case um, if you're concerned that whatever it is is going to get wet. Um, I suppose a point to that is that you know all zips aren't 100% waterproof, so this will make it 99% waterproof but you know you just have to take that with a pinch of salt that whatever you put in there will keep nice and dry but from what I've found what I've experienced with it whatever I've put in there has definitely stayed dry on the inside here so you know I, there's enough room that I can still fit in teddy I can fit in an extra shirt if needed and then on the inside you'll be able to see on the back panel here, there is a dedicated laptop section. This is a padded laptop section, which is really, really well padded. Whatever you've got in there, if you're worrying about anything on the front here, uh, scratching against that, it's great. It fits up to a 15 inch laptop. I've tested that with a 15 inch laptop, fits perfectly, slides in and out with no issues whatsoever. I've even tested my 16 inch MacBook Pro. Again, slips in. Because it's a little bit longer, you do find that it just fits under this lip. Um, it's not a bad thing, if anything, it holds it just a little bit more secure, but what you do have to find is that when you're taking it out, you just have to lift that up a bit before you can take it out, but you know, there's no real issues there. As far as the organization inside this pack, I've already mentioned about, you know, a lot of thought being put into this and I think this is where, this is possibly one of the best internal organisations that I've found in any pack and I think having tested a lot, you know, I mean that's, that speaks for itself so one thing that I've used a lot, especially for things like throwing my gloves in um, and even the, the line of work that I'm in, so I have to carry around a lot of electronics, so large plug banks fit perfectly into there. There's so much that I've been able to use this for and this has taken up one of the pouches that I generally carry this sort of stuff in, which has meant that that pouch hasn't needed to be carried. It all carries perfectly in here. If I'm not putting that in there, you know, I mentioned whilst Airsoft, uh, I had my um, a green gas bottle in there. It fit perfectly, gloves, everything. This really is well, very well designed. On the opposite side from that, there is another large section which fits in uh, a large notebook. Again, you know, there's even more that you can fit into this. On the front of the panel, there are uh, four, one, two, three, four um, organization pockets so that you can put pens, you can put anything into that. The fact that this, you know, very luckily fits in there to be able to take my notes with me and not having that just kind of around worked really well and then last of all there is a really large um really large mesh pocket that goes pretty much all the way down to the bottom and that's a good 20 centimeters so you, again you, know, you can you can fit a lot into that this one panel is possibly one of the reasons to purchase this bag it's a, for, for me you know a lot of people use their bags in different ways but for me this really just hit the nail on the head. To add to that, what you then find is that you have an additional panel inside here. So there is a, um, a mesh section with a zip. So if you need to put cables in there or a mouse or anything, you can put that in, you can see what's in there. On the inside, it says, it says unconquered, designed, developed, Portland, Oregon. That's I mean, that's pretty cool. That's like the um, the army don't tread on me kind of thing. 
Um, that's great and then underneath there there is another large dump pocket that then goes down all the way to the bottom of the bag. The bottom of the bag is slightly padded um, but there's just enough padding in there that if you wanted to put something in you know it is protected. The laptop is probably hmm, I'd say it's lifted but I mean we're talking maybe a centimeter lifted um, so if you have got something in there with the bottom being padded there's an extra layer of protection if you need to throw down your bag plus there is the bottom of the laptop sleeve which again is padded so you've maybe got say a centimeter of padding but I mean that's it as far as padding goes in there two nice really large zips zip it up and make sure that it's closed and fastened tight. By the way, all of your zippers, you've probably noticed these, but all of your zippers have these heat shrinks on them so that they're really, really easy to grab hold of. Even when you're wearing gloves, you can grab these and, you know, they work really well. For your back panel, two straps, remove those for the back. Um, you, have, you do have some additional padding here. It's probably, say, 10 millimeters deep. Um, it uses a different material, so this is your normal um, uh, your 500D nylon, but this is, it's just a bit smoother, so when you've got it on, it just moves around as you'd expect, um, but this feels tougher, so where these are your hardware areas, um, it adds a little bit more protection to that. As I mentioned, I wore this with a chest rig, and it just fit over it, it fit over it as I'd expect it to fit over it, didn't impede any movement or the straps and I didn't even notice that it was there. As far as sweat wise, um, there is a, two, there is a, a panel that goes down the back and then that goes either side. I found that I sweat but at the end of the day if any bag manufacturer tells you that their bag makes you not sweat, that's a lie. It's really down to how quickly it dries um, and the, the air that you can get through there. Um, and I found that this did the job exemplary. It, you know, it did what it needed to do and it did it very well. Um, afterwards, I didn't need to particularly concern myself with drying it. It just dried out perfectly and you know, it was okay, it was cool. On the back, you've got a little bit more of that Victos uh, Black Arms Company. Um, logo and then you've got another Victos logo here as well. Didn't mention, so on the inside, sorry, there is a hook and loop bit that you can uh, attach up to a three litre water bladder in there. It actually comes out through, so if you can see here, there's a little bit of elastic, so that's where it comes out. Um, it is dead in the center, so you can, you, I mean, it's not on either side, you, you just pull it down whichever strap you want. So both straps have two pieces of elastic on them uh, and then if you want to secure something a little bit more, so underneath this piece of elastic there's a piece of webbing um, just in case there was something, maybe a light or a radio or something that you needed to attach to that. Um, another little bit of Victos branding there. As far as the branding is concerned, I like what Victos has done with the branding here. It's just, it's nice, it's subtle, and it fits in with the bag. It's not, hey, we're Victos, or hey, we're Victos. That was, sorry. Sorry, sorry America. That was a crap accent. Um, the padding on these is great. Do you know what? I mean, the, the width of the uh, shoulder straps, the suspension system, the width of them is just right. You'll see that it tapers, which is great. You know, it, it hugs you as it, as it fits. There is a sternum strap, which can be adjusted. Instead of having a slider, which some people like, some people don't, you have a ladder system with one, two, three, four points so that you can move it up depending on where you want it to sit. Um, down at the bottom of each of those, all of the plastics on this are all Duraflex plastics as well. You have quick releases so that you can get those on and off. And then you have the, um, the extra webbing. Now the way in which they've done the webbing management on this, rather than having something that you can, you know, you can wrap it all up in. So what, what the webbing does is has an extra D-ring that goes down the webbing that you pull onto to make sure that it's you know the right fit for you 
and it, what it just it just moves the additional flap out of out of your way which is great um, but if you want to as well you can attach a um, a, a waist band to this um, you know it's a 25 litre pack you're not going to be putting too much into there I have done some rooking when I've been testing this um, I've been doing between because I've done a few I've done 10 kilos I've done 15 kilos so that's what's that that's 20 pounds roughly or 30 pounds um, and it's great the suspension system again it just does what it needs to do it fits it feels right when it's on as far as how it sits it's it, you know it's it for me so I'm five foot ten uh, hundred kilos 42 inch chest um, for me it sits it rides it rides well you know at the end of the day it's a backpack that's designed to carry and feel good while you're carrying it and and it and it it, it, it does it there's a there's a little elasticity in the uh, sternum strap the shoulders shoulders feel good it feels good I I really do like this pack I think one of the the things that I've not really mentioned is the fact that you know as a 25 liter military style kind of bag that can be used for EDC it can be used for going out in the wilderness it can be used as a range bag this bag is going up directly against the Rush 12 I did a video recently about the Rush 12 2.0 which bang for buck you're getting a lot from that bag and this is this this one bag has the rush 12 directly lined up in its sides it is a 24 this is a 25 there's a ccw with this there's a C, the, it, the the new rush series has the ccw uh, section added to it this one does it a lot better and i think that for me is the takeaway on the takeaway on what you get extra with this so price wise if i remember rightly the um the rush series generally come in around about the 100 dollar 100 pound mark this comes in a little bit more so it's going up to the 150 kind of mark generally the dollar and the pound at the moment um, for the price of this it's roughly a, you know it's very it's very similar um, but you get you're definitely getting fifty dollars more from this the thought that's being put into everything that's inside it the thought that's being put into the way that the management and the system inside the fact that you've got um, the um, the water bottle bit on the side I know that's a small thing but some people like to have that there I think what I'm doing is beating around the bush but if you've got a hundred pounds or hundred dollars you know the rush series is a great series to go to if you want to take it to the next level i think victos is definitely a brand that i'm going to be looking into more in the future because they've only been around since 2017 and making gear this good in only what four years you can definitely see that they are taking the advice from ex-service men and women and they're running with that and they're making great kit and yeah I, I, I definitely recommend this bag I think it's brilliant there are two versions of this I know I mentioned the different colors this is the perimeter 25 there is also a 40 version as well so if you're wanting to go to the next step up maybe doing some longer trips out maybe some overnight camps uh, for the weekend then the 40 liter perimeter 40 um, is probably the one to go to if you're after something that's more EDC range bag then this 25 is perfect for that um, I'm kind of hooked Re really I'm hooked at this moment in time I, I, I wasn't expecting much from Victus 
and I'm glad that Tack Tree got in contact with me and asked if I would like to test out something from Victos. So definitely check out the links in the description below. If you're here in the UK, uh, Tack Tree is one of the top suppliers for military, uh, for police, for um, medic, for airsoft, for EDC. You know, they do a lot of stuff. Um, I think at this moment in time, they are the sole supplier of Victos um, gear here in the UK. So if you want to get that Victos fix, they're the people to go to. There's some links in the description below. Um, again, full disclosure, I've not been paid to you know, review this favorably, although this was sent to me free of charge. It turns out it really is, and I'm kind of gushing about this a little bit too much, but it's a great bag and definitely one to recommend. Um, so thank you, Tack Tree. I look forward to working with you in the future. Hopefully you know, we can get some more Victor stuff in here, test that out a bit. Um, there'll be some links in the description below so you can see more from me. Follow me on Instagram at Morlander underscore EDC. Um, I think I've touched on ev Do you know what? I haven't. I always check, is there anything that I change about this? And there probably is, and it's only one small feature, and that is the fact that um, the uh, laptop section just needs to come up a little bit more. You need to have a better floating bottom so that when you're floating bottom, <laughs> so when you're putting things down, it just gives it a little bit more protection from, um, from, from it being dropped. But that's it. Um, having tested this out for a month now, I don't think there's that much that I'd change about it. Um, I thought that was everything, but that is now everything. So for now, stay safe, stay Morlander and stay EDC.